It's really hard though, isn't it? Because it's um, it's kind of, it's kind of like saying there's not there's also not very many like ginger people. You can't really help at a certain point in history what bands come along because there was a time when you had like you had the Breeders and Alanis Morissette and obviously the Pixies had the same member and you had Bikini Kill and all of that stuff was like all at one time where like the and the Tigra and females dominating and. It's a shame not to see as many female musicians, but then you've got people like Ellie from Wolf Alice, who's just flying the flag so, like, powerfully that, like, it almost gives her, it makes her an even stronger image. The fact that there is, but you've got Courtney Barnett as well, and there are all, there are some brilliant female musicians, and I, I think it would be wicked if we lived in a 50-50 world. But I just, that's not really how it always happens, is it? And I don't think. I don't think pe promoters are not booking girls. I don't think it's a conscious element. It might just be more of a fact that there aren't as many. But you've got bands coming through like the Big Moon, who are an all-girl band, and they're wicked. And you've got the Kills, and uh, there are a lot of females in rock music. They're just are more men.